In this video, I'm going to teach you how to create a branding watermark for your channel. This adds a little subscribe button to the bottom of every video on your channel. And this helps you increase your subscribers as well as grow your channel incredibly fast. Hey everyone, it's Graham here and welcome back to my channel. On this channel, I help break down into bite-sized chunks your path to online success. Each week I release videos showing you tips, tricks and strategies to help you become successful online, all while showing you my journey along the way. If you are new to my channel and you like any of the content that is being shared, please take some time to hit the subscribe button and smash that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any content being released by me in the future. Also any links that have been mentioned in this video, you can find them in the description box below. So let's hop onto the computer and get creating. Okay, so we're currently in our YouTube studio within our channel. So this is my channel, Graham Wilkinson. I'm going to go to the settings down the left hand side. So if you hit settings, then you go to channel and you go to branding. So in the branding side, you'll be able to add and upload your watermark that you've created. So you've got basically four choices here. So the first choice is you can either go and get an image of Google and upload it in here. So that's your simple, easy and straightforward way of doing it. However, almost every YouTuber out there is doing that. So you want to maybe stand out from the crowd a little bit. Your second choice is you can actually just create something yourself and add a little bit of your character to it. Your third choice is adding your logo or even a picture of yourself. And the fourth choice is just changing up the watermark a little bit to just populate it with the coloring of your branding. So we're going to cover all four in this video, so let's get into it. So what I'm going to do is we're going to remove the watermark on my channel and then we're going to upload based on our various options that we've just discussed. So I'm going to remove them. You'll see there that the formatting is PNG or GIF format and it says they're 150 by 150 pixels and less than one megabyte in size. So that's what you've got to concentrate on when you do upload your file. So what I'm going to do, choice option number one, is we're going to go to Google and we're going to just search for subscribe button square. What you can do is take a look through them, maybe one of them interests you and you can use that. As I said, it's easy to do, simple, effective, and you get the job done quickly. I'm not going to do it now. I'm just going to download this particular one here. So I'm going to right click on the image, I'm going to save image. I'm going to put it in there, okay? Now that that's done, I'm going to go back to my channel. I'm going to choose image. Search for the one there. And there you go. So now, very simple, straightforward, quick and easy. So if you want to follow that option, you're more than welcome to do so. Now we're going to do option two, whereby we're going to create our own with a little bit of character. So I'm just going to remove this again. What we're going to do is we're going to use a brilliant program, which is actually free to use. It does have a paid version. I'll link it down in the description below. But I'm currently using the free version. It's all you need. So we'll use that to create it. And it's called canva.com. So I'm just going to go to my account. So now we're currently sitting in Canva at the moment and what I'm going to do is create a custom dimension because if you do search for a YouTube watermark in here, it actually doesn't have it. So you just use a dimension, it says 150 by 150 but you can do 400 by 400 etc as long as it's square in size. So I'm just going to do custom dimension, I'm just going to put in 150 by 150 and then create new design. Okay. So now we're in here, it's got our canvas here at 150 by 150. And now what we're gonna do is just create one with a little bit of characters to yourself. So as an example, you'll see in most of the channels, it's generally got a YouTube play button with the red, etc., And it says subscribe or click here to subscribe. So we're going to basically create something of that sort with a little bit of a variation. I'm not gonna have the play button, I'm gonna just use something else, a little bit more eye-catching, I think anyway. So what I'm going to do firstly is I'm going to go to background over here. Okay, so now that we have background, you go to the color options here. You select that. And the best way to do it is actually pull the color of the YouTube red. 
So how I would suggest doing that is install maybe a Chrome extension. I've got one on here called Colorzilla. I'll also pop it down in the description below. So if we're sitting here on this particular page, what you do is you select Colorzilla, you choose your page picker, okay? Then what you do is you hover over the red that you need. So now you'll see at the top there, it's showing the particular color, it's showing the RGB code, etc. So I'm just going to click on there, select the color as copied. Okay, so you go to your Colorzilla here, you go to your picked color history, and then you'll see all the colors listed here. So if I select the color, you'll see the code that we need at the bottom. So I'm just going to copy that. Then I'm gonna go back into Canva, where it is now. I'm going to go to a new color here, and I'm just going to paste in the code that I've just got. So there you see, now we've got a background for the YouTube red, perfect. Now what we're gonna do is I'm just going to select okay. Okay, there isn't okay there, so it is saved as it is. Now I'm going to actually get a mouse cursor. So you can search for these type of things. I've already searched for it, but all I did was I went to Google, I searched in there mouse cursor PNG and I selected the one that I wanted. So I'm just going to upload it now. Go to uploads over here. Select Upload. Here it is here, so I'm just gonna select the mouse cursor and open. Okay, now that it's loaded up, I'm just gonna click on it and it's gonna appear on my canvas here, so I'm just gonna resize it slightly. So I just go up on the corner here, size it down a little bit. Then I'll just click on it and drag it across and center it. You can see the line popping up there. So I'm probably gonna put it roughly around there, should be good. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add text. So at the top, I'm gonna to say, yeah, click to subscribe. So you go to text down the left here. I'm basically gonna choose a heading so that the lines are thick and easy to see. So I'm gonna add heading. Now that I've clicked on it, so I'm just gonna drag it up here, line it up a bit. In fact, I'm gonna maybe change the size. Let's probably put it to try 14. Yeah, that should be okay. Then I'm just gonna select everything and I'm just gonna put in capitals, click two. Also, I'm going to select everything and make it white. Okay, so we've got click two. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna select it again now that we've got the same sizing in that and I'm going to just go over here where it says duplicate. I'm going to duplicate it drag it into line. In fact, let me just maneuver this thing. Then I'm just going to say subscribe. Okay, so there we have click to subscribe with a little thing there. So slightly different to your usual play button that you've got on most channels that you see. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is actually make it a little bit bigger for subscribe. So this one can maybe do 16 should be good. And then if you want to maneuver it around without using the mouse, you can just sort of arrow up and down as you, as you like. So I'm just going to put it there. That looks about fine. Okay. So what I'm going to do then is download it and upload it into my YouTube channel itself. So you go here to the right, you click download. It's already got your dimensions of 150 pixels by 150 pixels. So hit download. Preparing your design, thank you very much. So I'm gonna save it here. Click to, yeah, we'll just leave it at that. So say save. Okay, I'm gonna go out of here. Then I'm gonna go back to the channel. I'm gonna choose image. I'm going to select the click two that we've just created. And there it is there. So you can see a little bit different. I, I think personally it's better than the play button. That's just my personal preference. So nice, easy, a little bit of character added to it. And you've got something a little bit different from everybody else. So now what we're gonna do 
is option three is basically doing a logo or using a picture of yourself. Now logo is fairly simple, it's basically the same process that we followed. However, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to use a picture of yourself and basically remove the background so it's just you. Then I'm going to upload my picture on here, which I've already done, and I'm just going to use the canvas itself to place the picture how I want it based on the sizing. And then what we can do is just remove the background, load it up as our watermark. So I'll go to uploads. As you can see, I've already put a picture of myself. So I'll just click on that, I'll load it up. We'll just resize it accordingly. I think I'm just gonna resize it as that. Then I'm going to download the picture itself. You can obviously adjust the picture how you want, make it bigger, smaller, possibly utilize the full canvas if you want. For this tutorial, it's not really necessary. I'm just showing you the steps involved. I'm just gonna keep it, okay, untitled design is fine. Once it's downloaded. Now, in order to remove your background, a lot of people can use Photoshop or GIMP or whatever the case may be. However, if you're not familiar with those, what I recommend is this site, it's called remove.bg. It's a brilliant site, you just upload your picture, it removes the background, you download it and you can use it as you feel. So I'm just going to go to remove.bg, I'm going to upload the picture that we had just downloaded from Canva. Where are you? Untitled design. Okay, it's uploading the picture. Now it shows the picture there. There we go. So now it's actually removed the background altogether. So it's just a picture of yourself. So I'm going to download that. Untitled design, that's fine. Okay, then what we do is we go back to our channel. I'll remove this watermark here. I'll choose image and I'll find the one that we've just done. Uh, where are you? I think that was, that was you then. There we go. So now you've got a picture of yourself in the bottom there and people can click on your picture and subscribe to your channel. That's one way of doing it. Or you can put your logo there as well. I know some people, if it's my channel, for example, Graham Wilkinson, a lot of people just have like a G, for example, or GW, or whatever their name might be. So that's what you can do for your logo. Now, the fourth option is actually going back into Canva and selecting the one that we did and just changing the coloring a little bit based on the design that we did, just to match your branding. Okay, so we go to Canva. Now we had the design that we made already, but obviously we put the YouTube red in the background. So now I'm just going to select a color based on whatever the branding color might be. So if I just select background here, go to the color background over here. Let's say for example, your coloring might be that color there. So you just choose your color, you put in whichever coding it is. Again, as I showed you, you can use a color picker to find that coding. Populate it as such. I'm actually just gonna leave it like this to be fairly honest. I think it looks fairly cool. So I'm going to save it as that. And then I'm just going to download it. Okay, then I'm gonna go back to our channel. I'm going to remove the one that's there now. I'm going to choose my image. I'm going to find the one that we just did now. And there you go. Something with a little bit of color, matching your branding, easy to identify and link up to your channel. So it'll help you in terms of getting that brand out there and people sort of knowing that it's your video, even if they don't see you on the video itself. So there you have it, everyone. So that is how you create and add a branded watermark to your channel. I would actually love to see which version you guys actually used. So pop a comment down below and let me know which option you actually took. I'd actually love to check it out as well.
I hope you really enjoyed this video. Please hit the like button if you did as it will really help out this channel. And don't forget to subscribe and smash that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my new releases. Thank you everybody for watching. Have a great day. We'll catch you soon. Cheers.